plants like this peace lily here they like moist soil but succulents like havertia here they are different they like soil that dries up quickly succulents like jade havertia snake plant these are plants that have evolved over several thousands of years to sustain in dry conditions their delicate roots do not like standing water they in fact like soil that dries up very quickly so here is how you can go about preparing succulent soil in order to prepare the mix i am using this plastic cover on the table top now when you are preparing the succulent soil remember this logic that the ideal soil for succulent should be well draining well aerated with some nutrients mixed in it that's the perfect soil for succulents so what you would need first is of course a container in which we are going to grow our plant and then for the mix here i have sand now this is river sand okay this is not beach sand beach sand has lot of salts and those salts are not good for your plants so river sand is ideal so we're going to have equal amount of this sand and for some nutrition i'm also going to add compost this is a well digested compost it's an old compost succulents do not require a lot of nutrition so you don't need to use a fresh compost otherwise you'll be just wasting those resources instead use that fresh compost for your indoor plants for succulents just use an old kind they need a little bit of nutrition only and the third thing that i'm going to add here is now perlite so sand is essentially the solid matrix uh, the soil that will hold the plant but it will not keep the mix very moist compost is for nutrition and i'm going to add perlite for drainage perlite is nothing but a volcanic eruption residue it is chemically very similar to glass this will help to keep the soil well aerated so we have three things now here succulent plant roots breathe using the air pockets in soil when you water too much or the water stays for longer these roots are not able to breathe perlite will hold those air pockets in the soil for longer even when you continue watering for several years some people use thermocol instead of perlite it's not the same thing do not do that because thermocol first it's plastic and secondly you're contaminating the soil and then it will become impossible to remove that thermocol so now we have structure to the soil nutrition to the soil and good drainage to the soil secondly along with this you can also add coco peat coco peat is coconut husk that comes in compressed form as a brick as you pour water it will expand and now instead of coco peat you can also use perlite or they are interchangeable actually they're not really interchangeable but here for the succulent purpose if you don't have perlite you can use coco peat so here i have all three of them in equal proportions and we mix them through now i like to use my hands you can use a trowel you can use gloves as well it's completely okay so here we have the perfect soil mixture for succulents to grow and as we fill this up i'm going to grow aloe vera in this soil i think aloe vera is the most underrated succulent in india these days succulents everybody talks about those pretty ones but they're very difficult to grow in our tropical country we are sort of a hot country compared to you know places where echeveria does very well echeveria is that pretty succulent so therefore i highly recommend growing aloe vera aloe vera is also a succulent and in fact it has great medicinal properties so here this is a pup of aloe vera it has some roots coming out so we just embed it here and then i add water people also ask that can you grow aloe vera from leaf cutting you cannot I know there is some content out where people have shown uh, leaf cutting to be growing roots it has never happened for me for me this pup method works the best I hope this video helps do remember to check out our similar videos on basic gardening they're called garden of basics thank you so much for watching i'll see you very soon